morning guys it's laura here from laura's beauty rooms doing my first ever youtube video i thought what better time to do it than lockdown number three here uh, i have all this spare time on my hands and i actually just have so much that i'd like to share with people and i'd like to have it somewhere that we can look back at it you know someone can say to me laura do you know about this and i'll say yeah i do actually and here is what i've said about it on youtube i'll send you the link so we'll see how it goes. Um, tonight, I want to talk to you about the different steps in skincare because this is something that a lot of my clients, no matter how sophisticated they are uh, in skincare, might not know much about. And I'm constantly surprised when someone's using the product wrong. And I think that it's obvious how they should be using it. But then when I dig a little deeper, I realize they don't know why they're using it. So I think that maybe if you know why you're doing these steps in your skincare routine, you will know how to do them as well. So like a full skincare routine that I would do myself has nine steps. Now you can just cleanse and moisturize. Perfect. Yeah, it depends where you are, what you want from your skin. But my full routine, I would do a pre-cleanse, then a cleanse. I would exfoliate. I'd do a mask. I use toner. I use serum. I use moisturizer, my eye cream, and then my primer. So when I'm talking to people about the nine products, they're the nine products that I'd use. If you're doing a consultation with me and um, you're used to using products, I'll normally give you my recommendations for those nine products. So let's talk about how we do them and then you might have a better understanding of the order that you do them in as well so we start with the pre-cleanse and this is because your cleanser actually has quite a big job now i won't get into the specifics of the different skin types tonight but if you did have let's say an oily skin your cleanser might be removing the excess oil from the skin if you did have a drier skin your cleanser could be nourishing the top layers of the skin so that your product can actually penetrate through that drier skin so we want the cleanser to do its job, but we normally would have like um, a build up of maybe dirt, grime, makeup pollutants on the skin. I want to like make sure that you know that even if you don't have makeup on, it's really good to cleanse your skin as well and to do a pre-cleanse too. So we do our pre-cleanse to remove the makeup, the pollutants and everything. Normally it would be like a balm or an oil. So it's going to do a really good job, going to really clean off the skin. Then we use our prescribed cleanser, which is going to be different depending on your skin type. And that's going to get your skin ready to, to move on to use all the rest of these products. So if you just pop a moisturizer on your skin without cleansing, it's just going to soak in to the top layers of the skin. It's going to soak into any of the dust and grime and everything. If you have oily skin, it's going to get caught up with the oil. If you have a dry skin, it mightn't make it down through the layers of the skin. So we've got a pre-cleanse, then we're going to use our cleanser and then we're going to exfoliate. Now, it depends what exfoliator you use. You might use one every single day. You might use one once a week. So normally that would depend on your skin type and it would depend on your chosen exfoliant as well, because they're all different levels of strength. There's the ones that you use every day are fine. There's some that you use once a week that like if you use them every day, you do a lot of damage to your skin. So that's when you talk to me, because that's my job. I'll tell you what you should use and how to use it. And as long as you follow that, we should be good. So we're going to use our exfoliant to take all the dead skin cells off the face. Um, when you're younger, so let's say when you're a teenager, maybe early 20s, your skin cells um, are really have a really fast turnover rate. So you'll see these young girls or boys and their fresh face just naturally. And that's because their skin cells are turning over. They've got these new, young, fresh skin cells all the time. And then from about the age of 25, that process is still the same, but it slows down. So what we want to do is we want to clear the dead skin cells away so that we speed up the process a little bit more. So we get more of those fresh skin cells up there so we can look nice and fresh again. So we're going to exfoliate then. So that then we have the nice fresh skin that's clean. We've taken all the dirt and grime. We've taken all the dead skin cells. And now we're going to do whatever we want to do. Our mask is going to be like a really targeted treatment. So the masks are quite potent. Um, normally we'd use one for about 10 minutes and we'd use it maybe once, twice a week. So we like you can get in there. You can even if your cleanser has been soaking your oil, your moisturizers for an oily skin, your mask is really going to do some magic because it can be a lot stronger and it can get a lot more results from that as well. So masks are amazing if you want to do something really targeted, if you want to do something that's going to plump your skin, firm your skin, hydrate your skin and you want to do it fast. So 
Now we have pre-cleansed, cleansed, exfoliated, done our mask. Next thing we're going to do, well, it's, we're on to like the finishing products now. So we remove the mask and then after we've removed the mask, we're not going to remove anything else. So everything's going to kind of work together in a sequence. So I would say you tone, then you serum and then you moisturize. Um, eye cream is your moisturizer as well. You'd normally pop that on before your face moisturizer. So we would do it in order of consistency. If you think of it, we put the thinner products on first and that's because the thinner products are going to penetrate deeper into your skin and they're going to draw the thicker products down towards them. So if we put on a thicker product first, it's going to block the thin product from how deep it can get down. So each one is going to make the other one work better. If you're only going to choose one, we're going to choose a moisturizer because we want to moisturize the skin and the outer layers of the skin are the most important. But you'll know from using the moisturizer that it's going to be thicker consistency, which means the molecules are bigger and then it's going to have to try and get down to the structure of your skin. So obviously, the bigger the molecules, the less it can travel down through your skin. So normally a toner will be like um, a spritz, like a hydrolat, like a water consistency. So we're going to spritz that onto our skin and that's going to come really far deep down into our skin. We're going to give it a little minute to soak in. Then we're going to pop our serum on. Now serums are just magical i love serums and they're really active you could have a serum that matches with your moisturizer but your serum is going to be so much more potent and so much more active than your moisturizer but your serum is going to travel really far down into your skin so it's not going to do the magic on your skin on the top layers that you need your moisturizer to do unless which we'll get into at a different time your skin is quite oily and you don't need much moisturizer in your skin. Sometimes you're actually better off going for a toner serum then and leaving out the moisturizer. But we're going to do the basic nine steps today. So we've done the toner, that's traveled down to the skin. Then we've done the moist the serum and that's dragged the serum down towards the toner as well. Then we're going to layer on our moisturizer. So we will do the eye cream first. Your eye area is normally around. You can feel the bone here. So we don't just put the eye cream underneath. I would bring it the whole way around here as well. The reason we would use a separate eye cream to moisturizer is because the skin is a lot thinner around your eyes. So again, with the molecules, if you're using a, a thicker molecule product, it might get stuck in the layers of the skin. It's actually something quite common that you'd see if someone's using like an astral cream or something that they've picked up and they lash it on everywhere. It'll just get trapped in your delicate skin around here. So that's why we use our eye cream there. It's going to protect the delicate skin and then we layer our moisturizer on. Then the ninth step, so important. And when people say like, what's the best anti-aging product? And they expect me to try to sell them um, retinol or try to teach them about all these anti-aging collagen and elastin products and everything. No, it's actually SPF because prevention is better than cure. So the last step then every day that we use is your sun protection. So there are nine steps. I hope that that has made sense to you and I hope you liked it. First ever YouTube, I've only seen other people um, do it, but I think everybody always asks, says, if you like it, give me a like, subscribe, and hopefully I'll be back with more YouTube videos. <laughs> Thanks guys. Nice.